Brett Weinstein meeting with Russell Brand to discuss his conversion <laughs> to Christianity. Um, I said on Twitter that you would not be able to help yourself. You had to listen to that. And, I did. Uh, and you did for all of us. You, you're yeah. cross-like. You're cross-like, Chris, really. You're up there. I've often said that. <laughs> I've <always laughs> said that and thought that. But that was some great a bullshit, <laughs> to be clear. And um, I'm actually not going to go through it in too much detail because it's what you would expect. It's Brett Weinstein outline his alternative evolutionary theories, complaining about how materialists, you know, are too dismissive of religion, which has very important knowledge, and Russell Brand waffling on and on about the various, you know, important insights that he has on the topic of religion and science. But there was some exchanges that I thought are interesting and worth noting on uh, just two. That's good. That's what we want. That's what we want, Chris. We don't want to listen to the whole thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Just give us a, yeah. a teensy tiny taste. Just a little bit of the poison. Well, you know, we've discussed that gurus, they like to collaborate and engage with other audiences through cross-promotion and all that kind of thing. But there's also a little bit of like one-upmanship that's often in play where if you're the biggest galaxy brain in the room, you know, it can be hard when another galaxy brain bumps into your orbit, right? So Brett is talking to Russell about his spiritual insights, right? But of course, Brett has to make it clear that like he understands all these spiritual insights, but still he's, you know, the materialist evolutionary person, but he appreciates them. And then Brand wants to illustrate that, well, but he knows the materialist paradigm right so this is you'll get the, the tail end of brett like kind of talking about you know how he understands religion and then you'll get russell's response and then let's see how brett reacts to it my guess is everything that we encounter can be explained in material terms i'm not sure it's good to but can be and this yeah, oh, absolutely. In fact, this is one of the puzzles that other people regard as very difficult, and I don't really see the problem with it. Well, there's a set of neurological and synaptic patterns that have aggregated to form consciousness, and within it, a set of ethics and moralities that are universal and ubiquitous and seem to reward what you would consider to be good and ethical and moral behavior. And that, of course, would be because of evolutionary biology and reciprocal altruism and the kind of new atheist arguments. Not exactly. Um, but that's very good. I mean, not many people can do that off the top of their head. Um, what I think the reason that we regard consciousness as hard, the so-called hard problem, is that we mistake the fundamental nature of consciousness as individual. Yeah, that was good. That was uh, Russell Brand, uh, full steam, just demonstrating that he can't do it. He can, he's, you know, he's, he's remembered all those words and he can string them yeah. together really quickly. He's very impressive. I'm actually with Brett there. Like, very impressive. I enjoyed his little book down there. Yeah, but you can hear, like, Brett, like, that might work on some others. Yeah. Russell, Brett, you haven't grasped the profundity of my point about intersubjective consciousness, which is what he's going to go on. And, you know, it's it's all tied in with lineage theory and all his, like, pseudo-mystical interpretation of evolution. But in, in any case, yeah, so there was... There was that, right, the the kind of competing to show that they understand each other's paradigms better in a way than the other does. Then, Matt, immediately after that, so just this is not really related to the topic of the episode, but there's a there's a hard ad pivot. So this this is what I'm playing now is just the next sentence that follows. So this was me listening to it. Imagine this. Because our own individual consciousness is something to which we have... Uh, a profound connection and any other kind of consciousness is remote. This podcast is sponsored by one of my all-time favorites, Moink. That's a smidgen of moo and a bit of oink or Moink is a meat subscription company that is on a mission to save the family farm while bringing the highest quality meat to your table. <laughs> that's a hard that's a hard pivot that's that's a, a, especially that <laughs> <laughs> oh I, I uh, mean they often advertise you know gold precious metals uh survivor packs all the things that you anticipate with that kind of 
ecosystem, but I hadn't heard Moink before. Mm. And just Brett really, like he, he read he that copy. He's, he's, <laughs> yeah. he's, he's, he sold, he really sold it. <laughs> Good one. I mean, maybe, maybe this is just an us thing, Chris, to some degree, because like I, I hear so much oh, of this yeah. kind of on the nose ad pivots where someone will be like doing a philosophy podcast, perhaps talking very earnestly about the problems with capitalism and global markets. And then in the next breath, shift to selling AG1 or selling some VPN. And then it's back to the thing. And for me, this is very much on the nose. We don't, we don't do that. Um, uh, but Americans seem to be okay with it more. There's this little cartoon you might need to see it's like a comic and there's a guy coming out of a well saying uh, interesting uh, you critique society and yet you but so maybe if you saw that you would understand there's no contradiction uh, that's it that's yeah. the thing i had seen it but i'd forgotten about the the meme mm. and and now i've remembered it i realized that my concerns are misplaced thanks Cor- for, correct thanks. you cannot be too commercialistic or no. too capitalist even if it's completely contradictory to whatever you are saying or advocating for whatever you exist in capitalist society ergo you must participate yeah. in yeah. the evils of so- capitalism and society societies to societies to blame societies to blame in particular capitalism it's not their fault no you can do whatever you like then basically yeah yeah, I get it. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> that's it. So yeah, that hard ad pivot, it does come up, you know, everybody is making money or, you know, supporting their outlets and whatever, and that's fine. Reading ad copy, a little bit embarrassing, I think, for a lot of people, you know, they don't like it that much, but just that one, like, did they give him the sound effect? I think he was contractually obligated to go, moo. <laughs> I thought it was a sound effect. Wow, he's really good. <laughs> so, yeah. If you ever sign a contract like that, Chris, I'm going to say, I'm not participating. That's 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 on that's, you. You're going to have to do the move. Next week, we'll be promoting Mooink. <laughs> like, I'll do it for free. <laughs> so that's all you get from Brandon Weinstein. But perhaps it's enough, Matt. Perhaps you don't need more <laughs> than that. That's yeah, that's your fail. You said, you said two. That, that was two. That was two. Yeah, no more. Thank you.